video is of a 4.3 liter V6. It's got uh, enough rust in the cylinders. This is cylinders one and three. It's got enough rust in here that it does need a rebuild. This will not, this right here won't clean up from the rings. Matter of fact, you'll lose compression. The other side's not too bad. The other side is uh, in better shape, but the uh, that side definitely has some rust in it. So I almost got it torn down. Uh, another 30 minutes, we should have this thing completely apart. Continue with this 4.3 teardown. Uh, one of my customers asked me a question recently and I wanted to uh, answer that question. So as you can see, and I pointed this out before, but the V6s have what's called a split crank pin. The V8s, this pin right here is one piece, on, so two rods sit side by side on the same crank journal or a crank pin. But in the V6s, they're offset by 30 degrees. So each rod has got its own individual bearing surface to ride on. So each rod on the V6s, there's an offset. You can see right now through there, see how the rod is off. The rod does not come into the center of the cap, but it's offset. In the, in the video they're looking at, it's off to, to the right. So the fat part is to the left and the narrow part is to the right, looking down on this rod. So as you can see, looking at the, uh, can't hardly tell, but you can barely tell. So on this one, the narrow part is facing forward. On this part, the narrow part is facing towards the center. So it looks to me that the offset on every rod, there's another one, the fat part of the offset is away from the center of the crank pin, so to speak. In other words, if you call, if you call the split in the center, your fat part of the offset is away from it. And that's true almost all the way around. So that's the key. The fat part is away from the center of the crank pin. So that helps it too. I hope it helps answer that particular viewer's question. 